Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by the Video Testimonial Service. I'm Bob Letterer. With a good number of exceptions, I presume that most people in the RBDR audience are either sellers or buyers of market research. So for all of you, I have an important question. Are you comfortable with the quality of the research you are producing? I mean, really comfortable. And those of you who are buying the research, are you really comfortable in using it to make decisions? Now, I find that an especially interesting question for a couple of reasons. There was a 2018 blog post from Happy Thinking People Director of Global Marketing and Sales, Edward Appleton. And on top of that, I have been accused over the years of bypassing my role as a journalist and becoming an advocate for data quality, to which I've told people if that is the case, if that's what I'm being accused of, guilty as charged. Appleton asked whether the almost universally positive predictions at the end of 2017 in publications like ours and others are real world or pie in the sky. And he asked that because he believes that 2018 should be the year of market research quality, something that should be necessary because if you're making positive predictions for this year, they will not come to fruit unless the data and, and other points of quality in research are upheld. Part of Appleton's thinking says that much of the automation and good practices using DIY software continue to expand, they have not taken fully hold in the industry yet. And he's concerned about that because he thinks those will be the only areas where there will be a real emphasis, which he said is dangerous because accepting tech-savvy innovators and their minimal social science background, not to mention their shortage of research expertise, is very problematic. A third Appleton concern went right to the heart of the issue of industry quality, and he wasn't shy when it came to making recommendations. One, he said challenge and call out bad research. Two, adopt a zero tolerance approach about quality standards, although he did pull back a little bit and, and said, be charming in how you do that. Three, he said you should highlight the risks to those around you from being associated with poor quality research. Appleton wrote in this regard that we as an industry need to be open to a mental research divide between good and poor, and we should actually show the risks. For instance, at the top of the risk mountain, you might say that saving money is paramount, and it becomes a risk because if you do that too often or too much, it'll tend to downgrade the quality. So do what's necessary to avoid what is known in addition to cause respondent fatigue, which is a rampant problem in our industry. His fourth data quality or quality point is to use your social science expertise, but at the same time, think as a business owner would. And five, Appleton said constantly, talk quality. It is his hope that research this year will unhook from technology, calm down and refocus, reinvest in the rethinking substance of research instead of just trying to figure out ways to automate and cut costs, which he says is really the easy way out and not something that's going to fit the role of the best quality we can get. That's your Research Business Daily Report. We've been sponsored today and this week by our video testimonial service, which brings to life any client's great product experiences with your products and services. And the process is relatively simple. It begins with your introduction to us of one of the clients that you have worked for and done a tremendous job for. And we will turn around and do a video interview with them based on what you tell us and what we know about research. And from that conversation, we will create multiple testimonial vignettes, each of which extols a different aspect of how well you do your job. Things like quality, reliability, thoughtfulness, and more. Your testimonial will be placed, or can be placed, strategically on your website. And we tell you from experience it will uh, elevate interest and image of your company to those unfamiliar with your products and services. Now the price of our service is about $3,000, but you won't find that matchable in terms of cost and value add anywhere else because we bring our 25 years of research industry experience to the game and can do it extremely well.
So check out the video testimonial service at our corporate website, which is rflonline.com, and we invite you to even go beyond that and check out one of our customers for whom we have already done a testimonial. It's KL Communications, and we are linking to their homepage where they have put up the work that we did. You can communicate with me. Here is my email address and my phone number, and I look forward to having a conversation with you. Have a great research day and rest of your research week. Enjoy the upcoming weekend, and we will look forward to seeing you back here with us on Monday.